Sister Maria is here to share her testimony with the church, and also tell us what God has done in her life. Sister Maria, please can you come up to the stage? A round of applause for Jesus, as our own Sister Maria proceeds to the stage. Sister Maria, you can go ahead and share your testimony so that our Lord Jesus Christ be exalted always. Thank you so much Pastor David. Praise our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Good morning Church, my name is Maria, I'm here to tell my true life story and to give testimony to our Lord Jesus Christ for giving me victory in my marriage. I married my husband as a virgin at the age of 19. It was not like I didn't have men coming around me for friendship or probably to sleep with me when I was single. But I was determined to keep it until I was married. I wanted to wait for Mr. Wright before I can let go of my virginity. This decision I made as early as eight years old. Lord Jesus, please help me to keep myself you until you give me my life partner. Only then will I give in to it. If not, I will do everything within my powers to resist temptation that will lead me to sin. I delight so much in your teachings. Things about you are pleasant to my soul. The Bible told us that our body is the temple of the Lord and we should make sure we keep it holy all the time. I will always walk in your ways. Lead me not astray. Lord, I'm eight years old. But today I make a promise to never to give out my virginity until I'm married. Help me Lord to keep my promise. Amen. Maria. I like you a lot. Can we do what other big girls and big boys do? What is that you talk about? I don't understand you. I mean... We kiss. And then... You know, you should know the rest. You are not a baby. You are now 16 years old. So act like one. May God have mercy on you. Sorry to disappoint you. I don't do such things. You better stop living this type of life. It's going to destroy you if you don't take time. Shh. Get away from me. Don't come close. I later got married to a man who lives outside the country. After our wedding, my husband traveled back to his base. While I with my pregnancy remained in the house my husband rented. My husband's younger brother was living with me plus my little female cousin. Auntie, I want to go somewhere with my brother's car. I won't be gone for long. I want to answer my brother's call, but I don't want to do it inside the house. I need to tell my brother bad things about his wife so he can stop loving her and then hate her. I don't want the two of them to be in peace so I can be the person at the center of their marriage. I don't want my brother to trust his wife over me so I can be the one he sends money to for house upkeep. Before he married her, I have always been the person he trusts in our family and I don't want that to change. This girl wants to snatch my brother from me. And I want him to take me abroad. How will he fulfill his promise to me if this lady is here? I won't allow it. I hope she is not going to hear me when I talk to my brother. Hello my big brother, how are you? I don't know the kind of wife you married. She doesn't know how to cook or clean the house. She can't price food items in the market. The worst is that she follows men up and down. She is a loose girl. I don't even know why you married her. When Mama came visiting the other day, she couldn't make good food to serve her. Mama had to go to bed on empty stomach. Oh, it's my husband calling. Maria, so you are like this. I got an information from a known and close person that you are busy following men. And you have the guts to starve my mom. I regret marrying you because you are good for nothing. You think I won't know all the things you are doing behind me. Once I return. I will take you back to your parents' house. Nonsense. 
Why is my husband so angry? What have I done? Someone is poisoning the mind of my husband against me. What is happening to my marriage? I thought when I keep myself before marriage, it will make my husband to trust me and love me unconditionally. How can he believe that I follow men when he is the first and only man I have ever known since I was born? I have to call him back to tell him I don't have money to run this house. I equally want to buy things for my delivery as near. Hello sweetheart. I will send the money you need to my brother. I don't trust you anymore because I don't know what you are doing with the money I'm sending to you. Any item that finishes in that house will be replaced by my brother. Including the things for the new baby. If you need something, go and tell my brother then he will tell me. Only then will I release money. Great one. I have come to collect power so I can be controlling my brother. I want him to hate his wife. I want him to do everything I tell him without asking questions. I want his wife to be in sorrow. I want my brother to take me abroad. Great one. That your brother's wife is too powerful in the spirit that she doesn't know yet. You have to act fast before she realizes who she is in the spirit and begin to come after you. Hum. 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 What does he mean when he said my brother's wife is powerful in the spirit? He also said she has some strange and greater power surrounding her like a ball of flame. But she is just a simple girl. I hope this man knows who he is talking about. It can't be my brother's wife. Sister Anna. Something was really bordering me so badly. What is that my dear? Is about my marriage. My husband has changed completely. He is not the man I married anymore. Does it mean that men do change from being so lovely and caring to being so harsh and wicked after they have married you? He has been acting all strange. I am no longer happy in my home. Whenever he calls me from abroad he will keep shouting on the phone till he drops the call. He accuses me of following different men in his absence. I don't know who is feeding him with lies about me. He lacks trust in me. He stopped sending me money directly. He now gives his brother who is living in our house to give me. And I must tell the brother what the money I'm collecting from him is for before he can agree to release it to me. I'm suffering in that house. This is unbearable for me. I don't know how long I can tolerate this. Please I need your good advice. Sister Maria, this is not ordinary. Did you say his brother living in your house is now the one he sends money to? Yes. This is the handwork of the devil. You have to fasten your seat belt because the enemy has entered your marriage. You need to go and see our pastor after this service so he can give you prayer points. This is the only way you can break the stronghold of the devil in your home. Susan, I'm glad you have come to this house to live as well. But you and I have to work together so we can benefit from our brother that lives abroad. What do you mean by that? Please I don't understand. We have to be telling our brother bad things about his wife so he can hate her. We need to make her cry every day. Any time that our brother calls you over the phone, please make sure you don't say nice things about his wife. And why is that? What do you stand to gain by telling lies against our very own brother's wife to her husband? See, if you do as I said, our brother will be buying you loads and loads of things even when he will return to this country. He will buy you new phone, new clothes, you name them. So because of all these items you mentioned, that's why you want me to destroy another woman's marriage. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm a child of God and I can't do that. I'm equally a woman and I will get married someday. I wouldn't want someone else to destroy my marriage when that time comes. So you mean you won't join me in this? No, if that is what you have been doing in this house, you better stop it, because God is watching you. I cannot bear false witness against anyone talkless of my own brother's wife. Never. Hum, I will make your stay in this house miserable. You watch and see, by the time I'm through with you, our brother will throw you out of here quickly. You think because Auntie now carries you in the front seat of the car that you have become a big girl. I am not you that is hanging on someone else's achievement. I have dreams for myself. Even if I'm thrown out of this house, that will not be the end of me. 
Are you done eating? I hope you like the food. I can put more food for you if you still want. No auntie, I'm okay. Your food is always sweet. Where is the baby? Is she sleeping now? Yes. Auntie, I have been meaning to ask you. How has it been with you? I have watched you very closely since I came to this house and I have come to admire you so much. You are a good woman. My brother is lucky to have you as a wife. Even though I noticed you and my brother quarrel most times over silly things on the phone. To be honest with you Susan, I'm not happy in this marriage anymore. My husband is giving me though time. He lacks trust in me. He calls me all sort of names. He accuses me of following men. He said I'm good for nothing. So many things Susan. I don't know who is poisoning his mind against me. How is your relationship with Godwin? Are the both of you in good terms? How? I take him as my brother. I love all my husband's people as my own. What I will do for my own brother or sister is what I will do for any of my husband's relatives. I have to tell you this. Even though I'm not supposed to. But my conscience won't allow me because I observed you are good. And not bad as Godwin has said. Did Godwin say I'm bad? I don't know how much longer I will stay in this house. But you need to know the truth. Godwin is poisoning your husband's mind against you. He wants to be at the center of your marriage. He is not happy our brother is now married because before you came into our brother's life. He is the one that cuts the short. He is the one that handled our brother's money transactions. So now that you are here, he sees you as a threat to his status. You have to be prayerful. Because you know he used to come to the village sometimes. And most of these village boys have soiled their hands in one thing or the other. They know the road to the shrines of different native priests. So it has been Godwin all along. And Sister Anna in the church has been right about an evil force manipulating my husband. I can't believe my ears. Thank you so much Susan for confiding in me. It means a lot to me. I have been praying, but I didn't know I was dealing with household enemy. You have to be very careful. The battle you are fighting is not ordinary. You need to seek the face of God. The Bible tells us that we battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers in the secret places. He also made us to understand that the kingdom of God suffereth violence and only the violence taketh it by force. So you see, if you still want your marriage back, you have to be violent in your prayers. Speak to God in prayers concerning your marriage. The power of a praying wife cannot be overemphasized. After my sister-in-law revealed a lot of secrets to me, I began to pray even more. Before then, I was just a woman that prays on the surface. I don't do deep prayers. I thought that in life. Once you are good, good things will always always come to you. I didn't know that such temptations can come to me despite the fact that I was good and never harbored evil in my heart for anyone. So Susan is now becoming close with her and the two of them always sitting down here chatting. I need to tell my brother something that will make him ask Susan to leave this house before she reveals my secret. Susan, you can't go this midnight. Please let me call your brother and beg him maybe he can change his mind and allow you to continue staying here. Where will you stay if you leave this house? I'm so sad. Don't worry for me auntie. I will go to my church member's house. She is my very good friend. I have already called her on the phone and she has agreed for me to come. Please take good care of yourself and your child. Don't forget what we discussed. Hold unto God Almighty. He is going to perfect everything at the appointed time. Bye. <laughs> She thinks she is smart. The smart one here is me. I know where and how to press my brother's button. The next person to carry her bags out of this house is Andy. I'm still allowing her to stay for a reason. When the time is right, I will throw her out just like Susan. Why did you do that? Why did you tell your brother false things that made him ask Susan to leave the house? I didn't do anything. I already know what you are doing. I loved you like my own brother. I do not know what you are talking about. Please can you be more explicit? When she left the house, that was when I knew that really, 
The prayers I need to be saying should no longer be on the peripheral level. The next day, I went to see my pastor. He gave me prayers to say for seven days with four different songs. Plus fasting 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. I wake up at midnight to begin to pray. I equally said my rosary because I was a Catholic before marriage. So I believed so much in my holy rosary too. Sister Maria, your husband doesn't know what he is doing. He is being manipulated by an evil force. And it's going to get worse. Don't think he will ever stop. So you have to act fast. What they are planning is to uproot you from his life and after that. They will curse madness on him and take away all he has acquired. That is their pattern. God has brought you into the life of your husband for a divine purpose. What you are passing through right now has been predestined by God. You are to crush the head of the oppressors in the life of your husband and in your life. You are more stronger in the spirit than your husband. That is why you have to stand in the gap for him. When you fast, you deny your flesh its powers and you give more power to your spirit. In that way you can communicate more effectively with God and God is a spirit. Why am I saying this? You need to embark on a seven-day fasting and praying. When one partner is weak in the spirit, the other partner can stand in the gap and intercede on behalf of them. So this is what you are going to do. Okay, Pastor David. I'm very grateful. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father Lord help me in this battle. I paralyze every architect of conflict and hostility in my home and in my marriage. I withdraw my marriage from the hands of evil designers. Let every power trying to redraw my marriage map catch fire. Let all household wickedness release my home. I receive deliverance from every evil plantation designed to bring me and my husband under the bondage of the devil. I paralyze every spirit of hatred militating against me in my marriage and in my home. I spoil and destabilize every satanic plan against my home. I deliver my home from the hands of home wreckers. I pursue, overtake and recover my marriage from the hands of marriage breakers. Every evil effect of external interference in my marriage be completely neutralized. Lord, dissolve and render to not every counsel fashioned against my home. Satan, hear the word of the Lord. You will not break my home in Jesus' name. I bind all powers eating away the determination of my husband to stay married to me in Jesus' name. Let the satanic birds eating away my love from the heart of my husband vomit it. In Jesus' name, Amen. What is going on? This woman should stop mentioning that name. My body is on fire. Let the fire of the Almighty God burn them to ashes. Let the thunder of God strike them to death. Let them sleep never to wake up again. Let them encounter terrible spiritual accident. Let the God of suddenly arise for my sake. What is going on with me? I just had a terrible dream. It seems so real, and my body hurts as if it's real. Ouch. So this woman has started praying too much. No wonder my body feel like it's on fire. I have to go and see that native priest again by tomorrow. Maybe he can give me something to use and stop her. The native priest is dead. What must have happened to him? What do I do now? I have to seek solution elsewhere as quickly as I can. Doctor, are you sure I will be able to walk again? Yes. Once your fractures heals completely. Why not? You will use your legs again. Thank you doctor for everything you did to save his life. I'm going to pay the bills now so we can take him home. Oh, that is good. He should make sure he comes regularly for his wound dressings. 
Hello my love, how are you and our little girl doing? I will send you the money you asked for as quickly as I finish what I'm doing in the office. I miss you badly and I want to come home. Just to see you and our baby. I will call you again as soon as I put the money in your account. Take care of yourself. Bye. This was how God gave me my first victory in my marriage. Because my husband started being loving and caring like he used to. I have so many testimonies to give. But I think I have to stop here because of time. Maybe next church service I will come and give the rest. So that another woman who is fighting a battle in her marriage can be encouraged. Don't give up. Keep praying until something happens. The kingdom of darkness is not sleeping. So the kingdom of light which is us the children of God should not sleep as well. We need to know what the word of God says concerning every situation. So that we can hold unto those words in times of trouble. Thank you for listening to me. And thank you for giving me this great opportunity to speak. I appreciate. Wow, Sister Maria, God is really great. Thank you for coming out here to share the testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ. Prayer is indeed the master key. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. The end. Please subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to share this video to your friends and family. Thank you for watching.